Hello, welcome back to another video. Darwin Nunes, why is this man not starting? It's a bit of a rant for me this morning. I've woken up on the wrong side of the bed. If you enjoy the video or agree with anything I say, leave a like down below right now and subscribe to join this community. Thank you very much. I cannot believe Darwin Nunes didn't start against Bournemouth. And I want to take this further back to last season. And I want to rattle off some minutes that he played last season. So these are the back end of the, the season, the final 10 games. Against Brentford, he played 64 minutes. Fulham, 82 Fine, no problem. Before that, he played 18 minutes, 13, 30, 10, 30, 20, 50. So he started three of the last 10 games last season. This is not a rant based on this season, not starting the two games against Chelsea and Bournemouth. This is factoring last season as well. Liverpool's one of Liverpool's biggest transfers ever. Why is he not starting? One, it looks bloody embarrassing that we've got a £70 million value player sat on the bench. And two... It's halting his progression as a footballer. How do you expect a 24-year-old man to improve if he sat on bench? Klopp speaks very highly of Darwin Nunes, as do a lot of us fans, but he also says about how defensively naive he is. And as a forward, it's not the biggest problem, but at Liverpool, it certainly is. Klopp's success over the years has been built on that front line, leading the press, leading by, well, not example, but you know, starting the defence off. Firmino, Mane and Salah, imperative to Liverpool's success the last few years. And I completely agree, Darwin Nunes has not done that in the extent of Jota, in the extent of Gakpo or Firmino last year. But how do you expect him to improve on his defensive ability off the ball if he's not starting games? Do you want him to sit on his DS and, and learn on, on the bench? It makes no sense to me, especially when Jota's been absolutely terrible. In the first two games this year, Jota's been awful. In the final ten games last year, Jota was pretty decent. But Mera, mind you, in the games before that, he was starting seven or eight and not scoring. Then he would score, then start 5 or 6 and not score. Jota will score 15 goals a season, maybe 20 in all comps. No doubt in my mind, he's a good football player for this club. I'm, I'm, I'm a Darwin man, that's all I can say. I'm more of a Darwin Nunes man. Let's go back to the Chelsea game, the first game of the season. And I can kind of understand why Darwin didn't really play in that game. Uh, Jota was going to start because we had no recognised DM. Gakpo was playing as a number 8. We needed Jota to start on the line, to, to start from the front foot and press because he's our most defensive forward, let's be real. And against Chelsea at the bridge, tough game to go into, especially first game of the season with McAllister and Sobers line not having played any minutes for us. But I want to take you into when Nunes came on. That when Nunes came on that game, let me just check this for you, I want to get this right. He came on in, can you see on here? I don't know if you can see, I want to see the exact minute he came on. You can see, the 60th minute. He had 30 minutes, Darwin Nunes, to do something. Bring him on at half-time. The game's one all. Uh, Jota's already been booked, by the way, for... What's that? Unsportsmanlike conduct. Already been booked. Bring Darwin on at half-time. The most explosive player on the pitch. One of the quickest players. He's so direct. He's a handful for forwards. Jota was nothing in that game. He was nowhere. I didn't even notice he was playing, to be honest. And then against Bournemouth. If you can't start against Bournemouth at home, may I remind you... Liverpool beat these 9-0 last year. Klopp would have certainly been eyeing these up again this year, saying, let's do them again the same. If you can't start at home against Bournemouth, when, when can you start? And that really worries me. It really worries me how Darwin is not the first choice in that game. People looking into this defensive forward thing too much, in my opinion. It, it's a big, th big thing, of course, it is. Um, I spoke before about how reliant Klopp has been on that front line leading. But against Bournemouth at home, really, really? Especially at half-time, Jota was nowhere. Jota was actually really negatively contributing to us. He was giving the ball away, he was being lazy, he was dropping too far deep, leaving Senesi with so much time on the ball. So I'd argue his defensive ability there wasn't even that good against Bournemouth. Bring Darwin on. Cause havoc for... At the time, it was it was one all. Was it what, what, what time? Where, let me have a look. When did he come on? When did he come on? He came on when it was 3-1, but I think he came on when it was five minutes left. Just want to double check that. I don't want to get this wrong. I think it's quite an important thing. Uh, Liverpool versus Bournemouth. Uh, here we go. So he came on in the 86th minute. What do you expect him to do with that? What? And more, moreover, Jota came off in the 76th. So Jota's come off, but he's decided, I know what I'll do. I'll bring Javi Elliott on. I'll bring Joe Gomez on before Darwin Nunes. What more has he got to do? If he can't, let alone start against Bournemouth at home, if he can't come on against Bournemouth at home until the last five minutes, what chance has this guy got? Well, he's sat on the bench thinking, what have I done? What have I done? He scored more goals than Jota last year. He got more assists than Jota last year. Had more impact on the game than Jota last year. And he's not starting the game. 
against Bournemouth. And and people saying that he's not starting because of the defensive forward thing. We've got no recognised number six in there. Gakpo's playing further back. I completely agree with you, but I can disprove that. When Endo came on in the 63rd minute, we, st- we still played another 25 minutes without Nunes on the pitch. Even when there was a recognised DM in there, a recognised number six, albeit someone who's never played for the club, but he was a defensive player. Why leave Jota on the pitch then? Why not bring Darwin on then to nick a goal? I, you know, it, it was it was 3-1, 2-1, sorry, it was 2-1. Going into the second half, Liverpool had the red card. It could have gone either way. I think we need some fresh legs on there and we're looking to get the Jota goal really soon after the red card came. I think, I think Darwin's going to struggle this year. And I'm not really picking a part of that game because I think... I've been quite harsh though because we did win the game and Jota did score a goal but let's be real I could have scored that goal my nan could have scored that goal I'm just worried about the future I'm trying to foresee the future and Darwin is not going to get the minutes he deserves this year it's going to halt his progression as a footballer how is he meant to improve defensively if he's not on the pitch that's my thoughts let me know your thoughts on this uh, this issue of course leave it in the comments below make sure you subscribe and like the video if you agree with anything I say thank you very much for watching see you later ta